Hey everyone, welcome back to To The Beat. This episode is a day later than usual. We are experimenting with different release days. Do you prefer episodes on Saturday or Sunday? Let us know in the comments. And without further ado, enjoy this episode of Oso Weekly. Hello everyone, Mitsua here again. Let's get straight into the news. Wap Woof Wolf's beatmap Slodichia has been nominated for Loft five years after its submission with the help of Mega MLX, Utiba, and Clayton. Sheesh! It's now been 10 years since the watercolor incident. If you are not familiar with the changes, there is a comment on Reddit explaining it in good detail. Malisevsky and Worst HR player have faced off against each other in a show match with some amazing plays from both players. There's a video on Corsa's YouTube channel if you are curious to see it for yourself, though we highly recommend that you do. Unfortunately, 2U has met its end, with an official announcement being posted on their Twitter page. There's a comment translating the entire announcement if you don't speak Japanese. 3 Amplify seems to be returning to content creation after a 4 year hiatus, judging by a small video he posted recently. I'm looking forward to seeing what he has in store for us. Beach Baby by Iron Sharp is now the oldest beatmap to be revived. With the submissions dating as far back as 2008, requiring Peppy's help to retrieve the Osu files and a few other people's help with the beatmap itself. Feel free to give it a try. Osu420 might just be a familiar name for some people by now, and to no surprise, since his stream was forcefully ended by Twitch after 48 hours of non-stop streaming, albeit to end up with another stream having started right after. What a mad lad. Yet another banger ranked, this time being Embraced by the Flame, uploaded by Yumerios, ranked 4 years after its submission. Within the first 3 days since it gains its new status, its leaderboard already shows promising results, with 68 players of grade S in the top 100 and 5 of them being hidden hard rock FCs. Entering the qualified state this week is Say Goodbye by Armin, with multiple guest difficulties made by Kujin, Cookie1537, Nymph, Kowari, Broik, excuse my pronunciation, My Angel Ram and Meki, totaling up to 13 difficulties in the beatmap set. Saito has managed to hit one digit rank in the global ranking and first place in the US, surpassing Flaro by 300 pp. This was the news, now let's go to the scores. Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Shiva and I'll be doing your scores for this week. Let's get right into it. We are starting off with a banger this week, with Emrek's one miss, one slider break on Banta's map set of 2U Doro no Bunza de Watashitake no Tatsu o Ubaunda Nante. Whew, not that one first try. The shallowness difficulty with hidden double time, destroying the rarity of the 1.3k PP with a 1344, which could have been 1595 had he FC'd, and if he FC'd, missing one extra 50 could have been a 1.6k PP play. Watch this 337 BPM madness for yourself. This is insane. Next up, we have Emrek once again, with a one slider break hit and double time near FC on Mio Yamazaki's Noise Extreme difficulty by Akatoshi, getting himself a solid 1239. Chutson's really starting to reach levels of Eterna back in his peak, getting a 3 mod full combo on Ascension to Heaven, you know which map set, getting 1200 PP for 92.6% accuracy, as well as the 11th spot on the map's leaderboards.
Emrek revisits Blue Dragon's Blue Dragon on Blue Dragon difficulty, this time with 3 mod, getting 24 misses at an accuracy of 92.37, also getting the first 3 mod A rank, and well, despite having no fun on top of that, this is still insane. Just check out the replay. Emrek one grand. Chudson achieved a 4 miss pass on Yumiero's Embraced by the Flame extra difficulty with hidden double time, getting 828 pp. Let me remind you, this is a 10 star 322 bpm stream map. Wow. Next up we have Scytho, reaching one digit, as well as taking the number one spot in the USA with a USA PP record of 1416 PP, getting the first ever DTFC on his own difficulty of Snow Goose, with an accuracy of 98.41%. Now that is a lot of milestones gone with a single play. Following up on Scytho, Chudson got an FC on Snow Goose 2, but also adding Hidden on top of that, which ended up being his new top play, getting 1482 PP with an accuracy of 98.26, reaching rank 3 globally as well as heading 24,000 PP. A true moment of Chudson's glory, and a sad day for all of us lifeline bros. Now this one is crazy, hear me out, 11 stars, 3 mod, 300 BPM streams, with 98% accuracy? Yeah, Chudson got a 1332 PP run on Scytho's difficulty of Snow Goose, slapping Hard Rock on top of it, choking an inconceivable amount of 2024 PP. A new era might be coming soon, and a lot sooner than we thought, just check this out. Next up, we have Fragrance of Page, getting number one on Tuyu's Shuten no Saki ga Aru to Siri Naraba Lamentation difficulty, achieving the second ever FC on the map, sniping Worst A Char player, as well as getting 539 PP for the play. Gamla just keeps on his easy score streak. This time I've seen Mazarin's introduction slash Neuro Cloud 9 map by Camellia, which is just kind of crazy when you look at it. Easy scores need to be watched, so let's just appreciate this.
And that was it for this episode of Ozu Weekly. We hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.